be able to carry this tradition that, that was started by my parents. It was just the two of them for, I think, eight years. Uh, just mom and dad, you know, doing deliveries out of the house um, by and large. So to see the company grow and expand and, and have the additional resources that we have now, um, I think it's really exciting for us and for them. It's nice for them that they don't have um, the responsibility to the business anymore, but it's funny, my mom will still get excited when she sees a Cape Medical truck on the road. Um, so they still have a tremendous amount of pride for what they started and what they've been able to build. And, and you know, you feel a sense of responsibility when you run the business to keep those particularly as you grow, I think, to keep the values of the company alive and well. What I know about the Sheehan's is it's a, it's a great family. It's a great Cape, Sox, Cape Cod success story of a family that has decided that they, one, wanted to do business here, and two, wanted to, in the process, give back to the community here. And they're a terrific example of having done that. I called Mark and I said, we're having a little rough patch here, and we'll, pay, we'll get to you, but we're going to get a little behind on our bills and I'm going to need a little time. And without missing a beat, he said to me, Marilyn, put me at the bottom of the pile. Make sure you pay your staff first. And I'll never forget that. It was a, it was a tough time for the organization. Um, he did get paid. Um, and uh, it, it, just without missing a beat, he said that. And that, that, to me, was the true essence of what this organization and our relationship has been. They understand the difficulty of the work and the importance of the work that we do. They didn't want to see anything interrupt that, even if it meant that um, their cash flow would change. They were very serious about business, but they were very serious about trying to put themselves in other people's shoes and understand you know, what the organizations might be going through. And it, it's about building lasting relationships. That kind of concern at that level, I mean, anyone can deliver a piece of furniture. Anyone can deliver equipment, but it's delivering it in a way that respects the patient and the patient's family and where they are in their life and what their needs are, I think, that makes them special. And I think that they taught, taught me that service, first and foremost, is, is what we need to do, provide a high level of service to the customers and referral sources. And then with regards to philanthropy, I think that they, they didn't frame that really as a choice, more as a responsibility of what you should do as a business owner in a community like the one we have here on Cape Cod. Thank you so much for everything that you have given and everything you've done, not just for hospice and palliative care of Cape Cod, but for all of us who live here on the Cape. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to have your business here. Thank you for choosing to grow a family here because you're the examples of what's good about Cape Cod. To Mark, Nancy, and Gary, you know that I personally love you and, and, uh, and you've, been, uh, you've become part of my life and my family and I hope that that will always continue and I can't think of anybody, certainly anybody that we worked with at Hospice and Palliative Care of Cape Cod who deserves this award more. Um, we will forever be um, grateful for what you have done and are continuing to do uh, to support our work and our patients and um, we love you a lot. I know I speak for everybody at Hospice and Palliative Care of Cape Cod. We love you a lot and uh, we're very pleased that our relationship is continuing with you and we wish you the very best forever and ever. David Rehm, if you'd like to uh, escort Gary up to the podium. Thank you all. It's a tremendous honor for us to be here, um, particularly given the audience that we have in this room. I, I feel that uh, I'm safe to say that this room represents the very best that Cape Cod has to offer. And I'm excited to continue working with many of you to help improve our community. Um, I would like to begin by thanking the Philanthropy Day Committee, the Kelly Foundation, and all the board members who do uh, the hard work to keep this event going. It's critically important to celebrate leadership in the nonprofit sector. Um, it's an honor to be here, but it's really the people out in the audience who lead these nonprofit organizations, the David Reams, the Richard Brothers, the numerous other folks in the room who are out there doing the hard work to make our community better. 
the nonprofit sector in Cape Cod is critical to the region's success. And again, I'm, I'm so honored to be standing in front of so many of you um, this afternoon. You truly make life better for all residents of Cape Cod. I would also like to thank Hospice and Palliative Care of Cape Cod for nominating Cape Medical Supply for this award. Uh, we were shocked. Uh, Karen Bissonette is in the front here. She called me out of the blue one day. We had no idea we were nominated. Um, we truly, I don't know if I feel worthy to be on the stage given some of the accomplishments and prolific giving of some of the other organizations who've won this award in the past. But um, we are we're so honored to that you thought of us. Um, more so than that, though, we're honored the relationship that we've had with your organization through the years. We're, we're having lunch with Mary McCarthy, who founded Hospice back in the early 80s. Uh, she sits next to my dad. They have some wonderful stories about being in the back of the truck in the middle of the night, trying to service patients and do the right thing and help make the community better. So. I'll let that hang out there. <laughs> My mom's here too, so she might have some questions about that, Mary. Uh, beyond thanking them for nominating us, I, I just want to thank them for the work that they do in our community. Cape Cod is an uh, infinitely better place for having the leaders that they've had at hospice, the people that they have working in that organization, um, the work that they do, the work that they're doing right now in people's homes um, is phenomenal. If you don't know what they do, um, you should look into it. They, they do tremendous work in our community. For those of us who've, who've seen it and witnessed it, it's truly phenomenal. We're very fortunate to have them. So um, thank you very much. Obviously, I want to thank my mom and dad. Um, they, they raised my brothers and I in a way that I hope I can emulate in my own children, and they did it all while building and growing a business here on Cape Cod. I could not be prouder to call myself their son. Um, not only have they been able to build a successful patient and employee focused company, but they've managed the process of succession incredibly well, ensuring that the values and traditions of this company continue on well into the future. There has been a much recent press about poor corporate behavior. It's embarrassing and unfortunate but the company they built stands out and is an example of the numerous positive elements of our entrepreneurial economy, and I thank them for always leading with strong principles and passing those principles down to their children along the way. So thanks to thank the council and the committee, hospice, and my mom and dad, and I think I'm now at the most important group in our success and the real reason why I, and I, I'm sure my mom and dad, believe we are being honored today. There's a group of Cape Medical Supply employees here, and I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized. We could not, we would not be able to do what we've been able to do without the leadership, loyalty, and hard work of the people that you see at the table here today and numerous others in other locations. Every day they put their hard work, their passion, and their energy into making our community a better place, taking care of those who require it, and doing the job that needs to be done to make things better. With all due respect to other leaders in the room, I am confident that these people are the best of the best, and I am thankful every day for the trust and confidence they have placed in me. It is truly a great honor to represent them as the leader of the company, and I am extraordinarily grateful to have the opportunity to work with them every day. Thank you. I, I would close by thanking each and every one of you in the room for coming to this event today. Your presence is indicative of the support the nonprofit sector has here on Cape Cod. And we should all be thankful that we have the people in this room who do what they do to make the Cape a better place. Again, I look around this room and I see some of the best Cape Cod has to offer. I see the potential our region has for improvement, and it gives me great hope as a young person that Cape Cod will be a great place for generations to come. Thank you all for coming. Very best of luck wrapping up the rest of 2008. Thank you for honoring us.